Hey, it's me, Nicki Minaj. No, <laughs> well, I was in my head. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name's Gary, aka The Plastic Boy. What's going on? What's popping off? Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button somewhere down there. Then we can carry on being bad bitches. Okay. Okay, so today's video is all going to be about, it's just going to be a normal, you know, it's kind of like an update to get ready with me because I do my makeup kind of differently now, you know, I'm using different products, you know, we've leveled up, or we're rappers, we're ballers, we're shot ballers, I'm joking, plus I'm also again in my new room, so if you want to see what this update to get ready with me has got to say, keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, so hey guys, what's popping off? What's coming on? I felt like I haven't done a get ready with me for ages. I'm just gonna be getting ready. First, I was gonna do colour. I was like, should I do some colour? But this is like an everyday updated get ready with me slash chit chat get ready with me. And plus, I don't wear colour every day. And plus, where am I going with a blue teal eyeshadow? Where? Where? Mitt Mill's house? No blood clout wear. So, I'm gonna just show you my favorite products that I use. So, this is the first one. It's called Waleda Skin Food. It's so cute. I'm almost finished. I need to get a new one. This is just such a nice moisturizer and it's really good for the times that we're in. Obviously, it's winter now. And, um, you know, the skin's just a bit dry. It's just, it's just not as cute. And I just find that with, with like going through seasons, like my skin just doesn't look as polished as it should do. And the one thing I do, I do browse now after my foundations because I just find that if I do browse before, they can end up looking a bit too harsh. I know my eyebrows are quite prominent anyway, but they just look too harsh. I'm gonna go in one of my favorite products at the moment. And this is the Fenty, is this a, it's a soft matte one? This is not the matte one. <laughs> okay, so, so this is a soft matte one. I love this. I think I've got two actually. Um, it's just such a good primer and it's really good for just blurring out any pores and it just falls really creamy and silky. Let me guys know in the comments what your favourite primer was. I want to say thank you to everyone that joined Sip and Slay last Friday. This one will probably be pre-recorded just because, you know, I've got so much to be doing. But I do, I might do a live one actually, it just depends. I have got a guest coming but it'll probably be the week after next, like, just, you know to be cute or whatever. So I'm gonna use, I haven't used this for a while actually, and this is by Fasali, and this is called the Liquid Glass. And I actually used it the other day, and it's just actually so, remember this Instagram trick, like. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I feel like Fasali is still about, but not many people speak about their products. This just gives the skin such a nice glow, and just, it just, it just feels hydrated and that's what we need. I'm all about skin prepping. Like if you don't prep your skin, your makeup's just not gonna look as bomb. As those products are sunking in, sinking in. How's everyone been? Is where you are in lockdown? Let me know in the comments down below. London is still in the lockdown and I heard today that it might be extended, which means I ain't having no birthday, but I really wanna go away. I'm gonna use one of my favorite foundations at the moment. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I wear the shade New Caledonia Deep 2. I would like to get a few, actually I have got different shades in this actually, but this is probably one of my perfect shades. I'm not gonna color correct because I don't really feel like I actually need color correcting at the moment. Obviously around the mouth I could do, but I'm probably just gonna use a warmer concealer anyway. I'm gonna take this Morphe M439 brush. I was watching my girl, Yushe, and she is like the base queen. And I just forgot how good this like brush is for foundation. Like, I remember, I've actually got two of these because I think Jaclyn Hill did, um, a limited edition one, but this brush guys, just look, just look at this fan. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the foundation was going patchy and I was like, wait, what? And what it's really good to do is just like kind of bounce it in like different kind of, you know, instead of stippling, bounce it just so the foundation goes in. Oh my God, I feel like I haven't done like a get rid of me in ages. I'm gonna do an outfit as well. Even though we're not going anywhere, I'm gonna show you guys what I would wear like just around the house or just around. I've been trying to, even though this is kind of like blingy, I've been trying to like dress up around the house just because I know during lockdown, it's really good to like, you know, wear loungewear and wear track suits and wear um, like joggers and stuff. But sometimes I feel like when I'm in relaxing clothes, all I wanna do is just be in bed and lay down. So I've been trying to make an effort to like kind of dress up and maybe just pretend that I'm going somewhere nice. But in reality, I'm, I'm like sitting on my couch watching shit. So it's just best to like kind of keep yourself in like a good routine just for you and your mental health, you know? I was actually thinking, what Asha look should I do? Cause I feel like, I'm not boring when it comes to makeup, but I feel like I'm not as adventurous. I'm gonna take the soft matte complete concealer. I love to just go, this, cause this is in the shade Cafe. So 
I love to just go like around like the mouth just so it kind of acts as a color print because it's got red in it this is literally like one of my favorite concealers at the moment look I'm almost finished but I think I've kind of got a backup somewhere but this concealer it's actually funny how like they created the foundation from this concealer obviously the foundation is a liquid but this concealer has been out for like a hot moment you know what I mean so I just love to consider match with this foundation but I haven't even set the foundation and look how gorgeous it is but this foundation obviously is matte so if you have got dry skin I, who did I see I think it was actually Uche that mixed it with I'm gonna say Uche Uche oh and um, she mixed it in with a radiant long wear and it actually looks so nice so i'm gonna try that as well one of these days i'm literally just doing it anywhere that might need a bit more extra coverage so i need to ask you guys something i literally just put this on instagram maybe like 10 minutes ago and if you don't follow me on instagram it's at the plastic boy you should be following me and you know the whole shebang i'm gonna use hold on what's gonna say yeah i asked people how much, like, do you clean your brushes? Cause I just cleaned my brushes before this video and I was like, how often do you clean your brushes? And I did a poll and I did like every day slash week or every three, every few weeks slash month. And a lot of people like, they don't clean their brushes. I'm like, I'm not, I can't judge anyone. I was just like, girl, really? Girl, I'm waiting on you. And this girl was like, no wonder my skin keeps getting bumpy. And I was just like, cha. Anyway, so, so I'm going to use this um, concealer by Hourglass. I used it the past few days and guys, when you let this concealer dry down, Honestly, it's very bad bitch worthy. So um, I've got a mirror. Where's my damn mirror? Okay, I'm just gonna use this makeup by Mario Mirror. So what I normally do is, this concealer is, it picks up a lot of products. So I find that you don't have to go back in. I kind of go like that. And then I go like that. Look how much concealer is still coming off, guys. Like it picks up so much. This is in the shade Maple. It's very olivey slush. Yellow over it there. So what I learned is with your nose contour, let this dry, like let it dry down to it until it's dry because that's the thing that's gonna snatch, ooh, snatch your nose up until the fullest. And then I feel like I do it there, there. And just allow your concealer to dry guys because this is gonna make your base chef's kiss. So while our um, concealer is like kind of drying down, I'm gonna take this Oma contour stick. I actually love this. What did I use the other day? Did I use this? Maybe I did, I can't remember what I used, but I use this anyway. I think I used a foundation stick. How's everyone anyway? Like, I'd love to know how you guys are. I know like, as I said, I'm a sip and slay. You guys should be so happy because Biden won, which we are all happy for. Like, what's everyone been doing? What do you guys do to relax? Because someone asked me this the other day and someone was like, do you ever take social media breaks? And I think I actually do, but I've never taken like three days of social media because obviously it's my job. So I always feel the need to post, but sometimes I feel guilty if I take days off, even when, I missed a few days on here, like um, not posting like a vlog or doing Sip and Slay or like a Friday video. I felt so guilty. I was just like, oh my God, how could I do that? Um, I'm gonna take this contour a bit down there. Just because I like my cheekbones to be, be it snatched, you know? I always feel guilty, but recently I've just been trying to do things to make me happy. Like I bought so much candles and I, I really, really love candles at the moment. But all of you have candles yet, yeah, imagine you spend so much money on candles, but why do they, why do they burn so fast? Like, I just don't get it. Like they burn so quickly. I'm like, hello, can you guys simmer it down? So if you guys know any amazing candle brands like that smell amazing, or if you own a candle brand yourself, please let me know and I'll be happy to support. And that is all. I can't find a mirror anywhere. So I'm going to use this one by Be Perfect. I'm going to blend out the contour first. And this is the Huda Beauty Tantor brush that it came with. So this is really good just for stippling product in. And because the um, contour's already in my cheekbone, I don't really like to drag it down too low, but if so, I can always clean it up, but I'm just pressing that in. Guys, I love, oh my God. Oh, I didn't want to use this. The reason I wanted to do this video, yes, yeah, because I wanted to use the Melt Cosmetics Con, oh, it's fine. It's fine, I'll use it in something else. And guys, and I've always said this, but what content do you want to see? Like, I feel like, I'm trying to put all my energy into all my social media platforms. And I know like I do Sip and Slay and I do sometimes Ask Gary and I do the vlogs every Sunday. But you know what's so hard because I did this thing for YouTube Black and obviously YouTube Black, if you don't know, is like a platform that helps black creators be discovered more and YouTube have invested so much money into helping black creators and stuff. And I feel like, you know, obviously I can't be like, oh my God, I just wanna be big on YouTube. But obviously you have to work for it because some people are on YouTube for years and never ever get discovered until like last minute. 
and I feel like it's just it's actually so hard not just I'm not just saying it's just hard for me but it's hard in general at the moment on all social media platforms but I think even just to be a black creator it's so hard and like when you look around you even on your YouTube kind of how is it your YouTube homepage it's just the same people that are popping up I know from, actually for my YouTube page I get a, like, a lot of amazing people pop up that like you know I would have um, never ever like discovered but at the same time it's really hard out here to be a black creator or even like a male creator like it's so hard like obviously I know like everyone's doing it but at the same time you know when you're just like oh not just oh but I love doing what I do but at the same time it's just one of those things if you, if you, do you know what I mean do you, do you know what I'm saying it's just like girl it's just hard everything but I guess nothing worth having comes easy is that how you say it Okay, because we're a bit zoomed in, so the concealer is, let me check, the concealer is drying down, yeah, it's actually drying down, I can see it drying down. This brush, so this is a Smashbox Blowing Concealer brush, it's actually another one that's actually amazing. You can use either of these two, I'm trying to think which one should I use, I'm actually trying to use this one actually, see how it goes. So um, I kind of use either, and then what you want to do, you just want to tap it, just for it to give you maximum coverage, because... I always find, especially with liquid concealers, when I kind of blend them down, they don't really kind of give me that coverage where I end up using more products. And this year, we're not about to spend loads of bags on concealer because they're not giving us the coverage. So just let it dry down. I know you've had this technique a lot of times, but you see it's just giving me that coverage. I'm trying to just keep it in a certain kind of place. But I've been trying not to do a super bright under eye, but you know me guys, it's so hard. I love the drama of it all. I might switch brushes actually because that brush is a bit tough. So yeah, this one's a bit better. This one's actually probably the best because it's a bit more bouncy. It's kind of got like a dual fiber moment and you just kind of press it in like that. But I'm also bringing it up to the nose just so it's gone. You know, we want that snatch pinch, not the Toy Jackson nose, but you know, just snatch uncontoured. Now it's gonna blend out the other side. This side's drying down a whole lot quicker, but you don't wanna make it dry down too fast because you're gonna end up looking very, very mad. And plus, you're gonna have to spritz your face just so you can get more life back into that concealer just so it can blend out. But this is kind of like the perfect way. And then we'll go over with like our foundation brush just to make sure it's meshed in. But a lot of you guys were asking me like how I'm feeling now I'm in this place. And if you guys can't tell, like I feel so, much happier, like it's so nice to be in a space where I've got like enough space, I've got like a beauty room, so I can just like keep things up, I don't have to keep, well in my old place I didn't have to take down my lights, but I kind of like was working where I was sleep, not sleeping, but it was very, it was like too close and I feel like I didn't have a clear mind and like I can actually host people and have them come over, I don't have a crazy stalker, my landlord was crazy, um, I'm actually going to go back there this week actually just to give the keys over and get some last minute shoes. Guys, literally, it's just, it was just, the place was cute, I can't say it was like one of the worst places I've lived because guys, I have lived in some hell, not hell holes, but like, I've definitely lived in some, or well, two very mad places. When I say mad, first the other landlord was, um, I'm not sure she was a lady of the night, but she was definitely about that street life, if you get what I mean. And my other landlord was just so, he was just too much. Like, because, guys, if you ever share, like, a place, never, ever live with the landlord because it's not going to be great. Imagine this landlord said to me, he doesn't want me making calls on my mobile after 10pm. Are you mad? Are you absolutely mad? First of all, how dare you give me a, a like a, a call curfew? If I want, I'm paying rent in this house, so if I want to call Shakisha or Dwayne at 11:30 p.m., that's what I'll be doing. But this guy was just crazy. Like he would always tell me to keep quiet and stuff. It was just not a cute environment. This was like a house that I lived in like five years ago. It was just, it just wasn't the one, guys. But can you see how that concealer is just blending out nicely? Obviously, it looks a bit cray cray now, but it's all about blending going over it's like a whole process it does take long you don't have to do it this way you can go in straight with your beauty blender but i'm just showing you a way that you know you can bag yourself a little wrapper or two you know going over lightly just to make sure everything's just kind of blending in so with the nose contour you literally i'm going to take the same brush but just dab i'm not pressing hard make sure just dabbing it it's already up it's, like, it's very dry so this is what's gonna make your nose yes you don't even have to do this like it's not necessary like i just like doing this step because you know i'm extra like that but you just see the way it's just blending out oh child i love just base like for me 
It's the base for me. It's the base. Obviously, this step just isn't a must, but obviously, if you like a little contour, this is just what's gonna, you know. I came to set. I'm gonna go in with the matte velvet skin powder by Makeup Forever in Y. 405 with a makeup for a brush. I can never find brushes when I'm doing tutorial. Oh, there it is. I'm just gonna use a flat makeup for a brush like this. And then, because I don't really bake, but I just love to set my under eye with a pressed powder before I do anything. Just so it sets like that. Look how smooth it looks. This powder is honestly amazing. Oh, guys, I'm actually just loving this hourglass concealer. It's kind of like it's matte, but it's not too drying. You know what? I can see that I tried the other day and I was just like, raw, this is so matte. I tried the Tarte Shape Tape and it's because I've seen someone on TikTok using it. They were like, oh my God, this is the best concealer ever. So I tried it. And I honestly, honestly think that concealer was like a lot of hype, even though it is an amazing concealer, but I don't think it's like life changing, but it is a really nice concealer, you know? I actually really like it that, that but I'm, I'm, should I go with some Huda? I want to go with the Huda Beauty one because it's my favorite powder, but recently I've been thinking my eyes have been looking so freaking right. I'm going to go with the Huda, why not? I'm just taking a damp sponge and using a color drain sponge because it's kind of got like a corner bit. I'm just going to press that. I'm not going to bake just because I find when I bake, it gets too bright and I feel like it can look very, even though I love a bright under eye, but it can just look a bit mad for me. I think if you're going out, it's nice, but I'm just gonna press that Huda Beauty powder in there and then this powder guys, if you can invest in a powder, obviously Laura Mercier does a damn thing, but the Huda Beauty powders are just, a, a, it's just a different game. Like they honestly just give the under eye what it deserves. Okay, before we do bronze, I'm gonna set my face using the Shiseido Secret Skin Powder. This powder is amazing. This is in the shade Henna, I think. No, it's suede. Like, and I just take this milk brush, I'm literally just gonna pat it on. It is a foundation powder, so it's gonna give me coverage, but I like to kind of just put it where the concealer is, just to like, if it's too bright, we'll kind of just kind of mesh everything together. This is kind of what I do like when I'm not recording. I kind of take this much time to do my base, just because, especially when I'm wearing masks, you want to enforce everything with powders, because I feel like the less layers you have, and it's kind of like feeling warm, your skin's gonna have that blanket around it to survive, like, well, to be protected by, the mask, but obviously we have to wear masks. So if you want your base to last, it's all about just layering your favorite products without it making like, you know, a madness. Okay, I haven't used this bronzer for a time, but I tried it the other day, but you know what? With bronzer, it's all about the brush. This brush from NARS, I don't think they make it anymore, but if you go on the set website, you can find it. It's called the Yachua. So it's called Saturn, but I'll link it down below. This brush, mm, 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 it's lock off. So you just swirl a bit. Kind of saturate the brush like that and then i pull it just in the mirror like that just so the brush is primed and then i've just been tapping the bronzer on like this and then when it comes down to the cheeks i've just been swirling and honestly the finish oh guys it just deposits the most perfect amount of like bronze on the skin it honestly just looks banging just be careful though obviously remember to prime the brush but honestly you can't really go wrong with this brush i've had this brush for a hot moment but i didn't use it until um i did something with nars a few weeks ago and for blusher and for bronzer it's just the perfect they do a bigger one but the bigger one's more for a, for a powder moment oh don't get hit when the hair's like going on your face but um yeah this brush is so freaking good i'm just gonna use a charlotte tilbury just to kind of me like mesh all the powders in because it's looking a bit matte, or too, too matte. Ooh. Okay, so I never ever do my brows on camera, but I'm gonna do a bit for you. So I've been using the Benefit Brow Microfilling Pen. Like, it's so good. It's really good if you just wanna create, hold on, can I do it? Strokes just on your brows. You guys know like hair like strokes like this. You are supposed to use it this way, which you can do, but I like using it this way, just because it gives me more kind of like brow strokes and then i've actually used the 24 hour brow setter in my brows before so oh oh no my carpet's getting dirty but luckily i've got a protective carpet so use it in my brows before and then i'm just gonna go like that you want to do something really quick and you see you kind of just create realistic brow heads the brow has it creates so you just kind of do it until you like the finish it's just come in a different a few different shades so you don't have to have it 
this dark but you kind of get the most of it and then once you're done you can just clean it up with some concealer and then bush bush we're done okay so we're gonna do the eyes the brows are done they look a bit darker than normal not sure why i love this mario palette i love 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 i feel like there's not many palettes with this kind of obviously we all have these colors but it's just so so beautiful like i was actually gonna do a dedicated mario video but i'll probably do one another time but i'm gonna just use this palette i'm gonna use this color here and just take it in the crease this color is actually really similar to my eyelids so you probably won't see that much but it's like a really nice caramel brown. It's so freaking pretty. Like, I'm so obsessed. I feel like Mario needs to come out with a complexion. You just see it just gives me a nice shadow on my eye, but Mario needs to come out with a complexion. But obviously, when I look at his, like, his packaging, I'm like, I like it because it's quite clean and simple. And I feel like it's very marketed towards like the everyday consumer slash makeup artist but i did think he would come out with something a bit more i don't know i just don't, didn't think it would be white but to be honest he could do like so much more other things i'm surprised he's not done like a contouring kit but there are so much contouring kits already available but i just know his would be legit fire like and that is on period so i'm gonna go in with this shade and put it over the lid it kind of looks like a bronzer but i'm just gonna go in with this it's such a nice muted i can actually use the bronzer but it's maybe a bit too it's got a bit too yeah it's a bit too ready like it almost looks like i've been slapped <laughs> but this color all over the lid does things to me i'm gonna go into this brown actually, i might dip in between these two and just did i do this look yesterday <laughs> i literally just define the crease but nothing too heavy but still keeping it you know fairly you no know, neutral glam I'm sure I did this look the other day. I was just, this is just my go-to look, guys. Like, I feel like I haven't been really deep diving into color, which color, which I really, really should. See, this looks so pretty. <laughs> I could have sworn I've done this look. Okay, for the lower lash line, this, I found this when I was moving, actually, to Oldie Book Goodie. This is Costa Riche from MAC, and it's the most beautiful, kind of ready kind of warm pencil can you guys see that it's so nice it is a cold so it smudges up more easier you, i think you can only look here at them at all max stores now but it used to be a pro pencil but i'm just gonna put that on the waterline you guys know i always love a white waterline but it's fine this is such a sexy pencil this looks amazing on blue eyes purple eyes brown eyes it looks nice on everyone but especially if you're quite fair as well if you put it all over the lid it looks so nice taking that same ready brown shadow i used for the mario palette and i'm just gonna smudge this out this is like an old morphe brush that came out of my friend tweed collaboration speaking of tweet i'm wearing her earrings if you guys didn't know well this video will come out a day before her collaboration but she's done a collaboration with skinny dip so these are some of the earrings she's created but if you guys like sparkly earrings and like ear cups and stuff definitely go and check it out they're so so beautiful okay so the eyes are done they kind of look more dramatic than i i was hoping for like you guys know i just love kind of like you know a sharp kind of liner i actually use the melt this is never in stock though i'm so sorry it's called split by melt i'm not sure why beauty bay don't have it in stock but whatever um so this is a new creation this is not sponsored even though i have a lash with them this is something i learned this is called lash and line and this is basically eyelash glue and a liner but this is clear because it because I've um, used a brown liner, I don't really want to use the black one because I do a black one plus, you know, the clear one's cute. So what I do is I kind of go over it like with this and then I wait for it to dry. Like don't put too much on, but the best thing to do is go over it like three times just so the glue is all ready and done. And then I'll go in with my lashes, but... I'm so sorry, my lashes are only available in the States. I mean, not in the States, in, in the UK. I wish they were available in the States though, but who knows, something might be coming, who knows. Yeah, I just go over it. And then, you have to do it three times, but this is available on, you can get it in the States at Ulta, you can get it on ASOS, you can get it at um, Superdrug, I think, and Boots. But this is such a good creation. Okay, I'm gonna take some of my Bad and Bougie lashes. Ooh. I actually used these yesterday. These are a fresh pair. There they are here. 
bad and bougie. These are really nice if you like kind of like, they're really nice if you've got almond eyes, but any eye shape can wear them, but they're just kind of like longer on the end and they kind of in got elongate. I just love them because they kind of give you that feline eye. I mean, it's just gonna go in with them and look down at a mirror. And you've got curly lashes. Lashes are so hard to put on because my eyelashes are so curly because, you know, I find that most black people have curly lashes, so they just kind of bounce off. Ooh, now we're popping. <laughs> okay, so now it's time for blush. We love a bit of blush. I'm gonna take, I might take this shade in the Mario palette and use it as a little brush. <laughs> Keep saying br <laughs> blush just because I want it to be quite monochromatic. I'm, I'm sure I did this the other day. And then, hold on, is that showing up? Looks a tiny bit just like that. Actually, I might use the BH Cosmetics one because, no, this is looking like a bronzer. So I'm gonna use the Vanilla Orange. I'm gonna use this shade here because it's such a pretty terracotta color. I'm just gonna go on the cheeks. That is nice. Oh, I always forget this blush is so pigmented though. So if you do get this, definitely tread lightly. Okay, so it's now time for highlight. I haven't worn highlight for ages, so I'm gonna use this Maybelline Master Chrome one. I haven't used this in ages. I'm gonna use this New Real Techniques highlight brush. It is kind of fluffy though, but it's fine. I'm gonna make my face a tiny bit wet. Comment down below, do you guys still reach for highlight? Even though I love highlight, I just feel like I need to find one that I really love again because at the moment I'm just like, mm, is that really cute? But, ooh, this brush is so soft. I do think it might be a tad too big though, but it literally just gets right on top of my cheekbone. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into my ColourPop BFF liner, BFF3. Okay, I'm gonna have to go in with one of my favorite lips by Rare Beauty, and this is called Courage. This lip is so freaking nice. So this is the finished look, guys. What do you think of the makeup? Let me just give my face a bit one more spritz because let me apply that highlight. Actually loved the way it turned out. So I'm gonna change into my outfit and I'll be right back. Okay, let me show you the outfit. This is what I'm wearing. This is like this little piece here. The pants are from Izzy Miyake. The top is from ASOS. It's just so, so cute. Obviously, we're showing the T's. We're showing the A's. Oh, what is that? Oh, <laughs> it's my little headband thing. But let me just sit my ass down. So yeah, do you guys love that outfit? Let me show you. Mm. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this makeup look. Like I love creating it and you guys know I just love a neutral glam moment. Oh my God, this is a bit, let me just zoom back in. That's better. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this makeup look. I actually really like it. I think the base looks nice. I think everything just looks, sorry, my hair's a mess. It just looks so, so cute. If you guys have any requests, please let me know. Obviously we're in lockdown here, so I've got more than enough time to create some content for you guys, but I just love the lip. I love the eyes. I love the brown liner. I love the brows. I love the concealer. And I just feel like it just looks chef's kiss. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. And I shall see you on Friday for Ask Gary. Have a lovely week, guys. Love you.